Hello again. So today I'm off camping again <laughs> because the weather's still nice. It is supposed to rain on Sunday and Monday and 20 mile an hour wind. <laughs> so, oh, I got a bug in here. So um, it'll be interesting to see I'll stake my tent out better this time and I'm going to Rancho Seco um, and the, the spots, I went out there yesterday and checked it out so I picked out my spot because I haven't been camping there and I haven't even been out there on their lake in like 30 years, 25 years um, and uh, seatbelt is choking me. Um, it's grassy. I can't attach my tent to the car because they don't have, unless I want to park in the RV spot, which I don't want to do because they're really narrow and they're on gravel. So I can't stake my tent down and they're like all right next to each other. But the camp, the tent camping, Mr. Raider, got Raider with me. <coughs> I've had this cough for a week now. Um, I had a sinus infection. That seems to be clearing up, but this little cough is just lingering. It's driving me crazy. Um, the tent camping is nice. The area where it's at, there's a whole bunch of picnic tables, which I rarely use. But I actually might because they're pretty close. I got another cough coming. Um, each one has a fire pit, which, you know, most campgrounds have picnic tables and fire pits for every spot um, I did pick out one it's kind of in full sun but it has trees around it right on the lake and um, I should be able to stake my tent out really good and hopefully if that wind starts blowing Sunday night it doesn't blow my tent over because I can't sleep in my car um, I should be able to stake out my tent really well to the ground because it's going into the you know into the dirt and I brought also, um, I brought these big, heavy, they're like nails. They're about, I don't know, 10 inches long with a heavy plastic cap, little L-shaped hook kind of thing. So I should be able to pound those down in there and keep that tent from going anywhere. And we'll see how it holds up just freestanding without the car to support it at all. Um, yeah, so, so I should be able to stake it out good and we'll see how it holds up without any extra support because you can use it as a freestanding tent. Dave told me, he's like, you should just go get a tent that's made for not car camping. And I'm like, this one you can, but the problem with a lot of those is they're not as tall. And this one's like seven feet tall, which is what worries me about the wind is it is so tall and you, you know, it doesn't, it's not angled. It's like the sidewalls are straight up. Are you looking? Raider standing up, peeking over the dashboard. It's a good boy. It's such a good boy. Are you ready to go camping? Huh? So, yeah, I'm headed out there and uh, we'll be back. So I'm driving over the dam or levee, whatever this is. So this is a lake. It's much smaller than Comanche. It's just a little tiny recreation area. And then there's all the camping and stuff up there. And there's Mr. Raider. Mr. Raider, you ready to camp? Are you ready to camp? You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I know. You're going to come over here. Why don't you stay in your spot? So I'm just going to drive through. And I'm camping right across there. I think. Kind of winds around. But uh, it's, a, it's a cool place. I like it. I think I might... Yeah, this might be one of my regular places. We'll have to see. So I'm almost done setting up my camp. And I uh, just got a couple more things to do inside. And I just sitting here in my little swinging chair with my little swinging dog. Mr. Raider. Mr. Raider. He's a little camera shy. <laughs> You're funny. And I just 
looked up and I noticed I got a great view of the towers. <laughs> I don't know why those are, I don't, they just are so eerie when you look at them. Cool, there's a bunch of people out fishing. Such a nice view. Most of them are fishing way over there on the side, fishing off the bank. Right after I got here, some guy pulled up, like a, maybe a hundred feet behind me, if that. And I thought he was going to be camping here too. I was so bummed. I'm like, no, no, I want, I want all of this to myself. First thing I had to do was catch up Raider because uh, he was off running and playing, wasn't you? Yes, you were. You were having fun. Um, he had a dog in his car. And I see him, he starts pulling all the stuff out of his car. And I'm like, well, hopefully he's quiet. But it turns out he just wanted to fish. But he was only here for about 15 minutes and he packed up and left. So I don't know if he, you know, he might've driven around the lake, found another spot. Maybe he just didn't like this spot. But uh, it's peaceful. Dave's gonna, he was gonna come out and help me set up, but I got, anxious he was off doing something this morning and i didn't want to wait so i came out and i actually got it up all by myself pretty easy i'm <clears throat> kind of figuring it out i don't know how long this tent's gonna last because i already see where in the sleeves that the poles go through from them rubbing and uh so i don't know how long it's gonna last but dave's already telling me that i should get a better one <laughs> I want, my next tent is going to be, what, is going to be a, uh, one of those hot tents. And I kind of like the canvas teepee style ones. They're all weather, made for dead of winter. And they have the hole in the top. You run the stove pipe out and you buy the little wood stoves that go in them. You can cook on them. And a lot of the guys on some of the channels I watch have them and they're so cool. So, well, I'll check back in once I get my fire set up and <laughs> and uh, figure out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. See what if Dave's even going to come out. Oh, look at, I got a little mud duck right there. A little coot. <laughs> you're funny. Raider, you're not going to catch that bird. Don't you dare go in the water. <laughs> He won't catch it. <laughs> Raider. You better keep your feet dry. Good boy. It's too cold to get wet. It's actually not cold today. It's about, let's see, 58 degrees. Nice breeze. You can see the trees are just barely moving. It's very cloudy. That guy's driving way too fast because there's a speed limit on that road of like 20, 25. Good boy, Raider. All right, we'll check back in later. So I'm just relaxing here. Got my fire started. Cook dinner later. But the sun is going down right I wish you could see the color that it actually is. It's so washed out right now. Come on. It's trying, and then it keeps flashing back. But it looks really pretty going down over the lake right there. Through the reeds. Yeah, it just won't. I have a hawk behind me making all kinds of racket <laughs> in the tree. And over here, this is interesting. If you can see, there's a ton of vultures. <laughs> uh, they all landed up in that tree, so they're probably roosting there for the night. There's about 15, 16. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, there's a ton of them. They're turkey vultures. They're really common in this area. I think they're common everywhere. But they're actually pretty big up close. So, yeah, I'm 
chilling here. Got myself a 805. So, cheers. So good. The vultures are squabbling up in their tree. So yeah, I'll check back in when it's when it's dinner time. I might set some stuff up on my little table there. <coughs> Excuse me. In my last camping at Comanche, the table was quite a ways away. But here, there's table after table after table. There's almost like two per campsite. They're so close together. So I might actually use that one. But I have my fire over here because it was level and I didn't want it too close to the tent. So yeah, we'll check back in. Something is chasing the fish. Did I catch it at all? It is just jumping out of the water. Look at that. Is that a fish? Or is that an otter? Is that an otter's tail? Let me go over here. Could be an otter. over my guy line right here what is that splashing around you know I think it might be an otter I don't think it's a fish I thought it was a fish just jumping Let's see it comes back up yeah there it is right there Is that an otter? Yeah, I think it's an otter. Oh, I hope it stays out of my camp. <laughs> they can be very aggressive. And they're big. There he is right there. <laughs> See his feet? There's another one over there. There's another one right there. I do hope they stay out there. <laughs> Where are you? It's too funny. There's a couple of them over here. I can see where they've gone in and out of the water. Where the little water splashes are. So there must be a family of them in here. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> he keeps popping up and then disappearing. Yeah, they must have a den here somewhere on the bank. Well, I wonder if that's why the kid that was fishing earlier, maybe he saw him out here and maybe that's why he left. Because they'll scare the fish off. There's at least three of them right there that have popped up. Oop, there's one. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a good spot to camp. I got hawks, geese, ducks, otters, no people. I do have guy lines out on my tent here. I gotta be careful not to trip over them because I'm not used to putting those putting those out. Ooh, getting some nice glowing holes down in there now. Yay. Fire, fire, we love it. Yum. Got an 805. And I got hamburger patties for me and Raider cooking. And we got potatoes with a half of a large onion, yum. And uh, about three cloves of minced up garlic and some olive oil. It smells so good. Yum, yum, yum.
fire feels good. <laughs> Raider's in the tent. He went to bed. <laughs> but as soon as he starts smelling this meat cooking, I'm sure he'll be back. But, oh, so nice. Oh, oh, this is cool. Can you see the red? Those are the cooling towers. I didn't know they had red lights on them. I wonder if those are the lights I used to see from home and always wonder what they were. I didn't realize. I think that is. That's cool. Uh, uh, so. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I think Tony and Bruno would be jealous of my little cheeseburger and a 805. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I had a lot of leftovers. But yum, yum, yum. This is going to be so good. We got red potatoes. Oh, we were so good. Oh, delicious. I know you're jealous. <laughs> leftovers for breakfast. <laughs> um... My fire is glowing hot. It's so nice and peaceful out here. Raider. He went to bed. He's in the tent. <laughs> He's cold. It's not even cold out here. It's like 50 degrees or 55 degrees. Let's see what let's see what this says. Oop, can't see it. It says 50 degrees. I think it gets washed out with the camera. Yeah, it's 50 degrees out here, so it's not cold. But it is so nice and peaceful. There was a little sliver of a moon, but it's already gone down. The otters finally went to bed. And I'm just sitting here having a beer. I'm actually having my second beer, which I can't reach. I think I had to move my table. But look at my messy table. <laughs> so I am just relaxing, and then I'm going to go in and probably watch a movie. It's about, I don't know, quarter after six, 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 eleven. Yeah, so as soon as I'm done eating, I'll probably go in there, put a movie on, hang out with Raider. I hear critters behind me. I can hear them running around. I don't know if it's birds or rabbits or what's coming out back there, but I can hear shuffling back there. There's nothing here to worry about. I think the biggest critter out here would be a, an otter, maybe a coyote, and they're not going to come around. But I do hear scufflings back there. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna eat and then I'm gonna go and relax inside and try out my new heater. I will make sure I leave some of these vents open at the top to get a little ventilation. Maybe I'll open that one on the bottom, see if it'll get a little air through there. It says they're safe indoors, but it just says to make sure you have some ventilation. So I'm gonna try my Mr. Heater Buddy or Mr. Buddy Heater, whatever, it's the smallest one the small one they have. So I'm going to try that out tonight and see how that works. So maybe I'll maybe I'll check back in with you. But right now I'm going to eat my food before it gets cold. Some <laughs> I saw him kind of creeping up on me. Flipped on my light. Where'd he go? There he is. Hey little dude. You go back where you came from. Where is he? There he is. Hi baby. You're cute, but go away. My fire is hot. I don't want you burning yourself. Off you go. I don't know if he smells my food. Off you go. Go on, he looks really small. You baby. You need to go. You're adorable. You are cute. Are you one up in the tree? Are you alone? I'm about to head into my tent anyway, but I'll make sure all my food is picked up. Hi, cutie. Possums are adorable. I don't know why people hate them so much. Whoops, where are you? I'm watching him and not my camera. I'm probably standing here not even filming him. Oh, possum. He is. This place has got lots of critters. <laughs> oh, 
off you go. Yes, I'm still watching you. Well, luckily, Raider's in the tent. <laughs> there are a lot of animals out here. I wish this would come out clearer. It's just dark. It does. I'm on my phone, my iPhone. Dude, you stay over there. And I'm gonna... I'm all done eating. I was gonna head into my tent anyway, and then he's free to do whatever he wants. <laughs> he's like, why are you staring at me, weirdo? I know. Yeah, he seems to be going that way. I can't believe I even saw him in the dark. I just saw a movement. So I'm gonna clean up. I'm done eating. Put that leftover food away and head inside. And then the possum can have the, oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, make sure I bring that in too. Don't wanna be feeding the possums. Does he keep on going, going or is he coming back? Yeah, he's heading off. There he goes down there. There's just noises everywhere around here. So hopefully he doesn't come over by the fire and burn himself. All right, I'm going to start cleaning up. Oh, where'd you go? There's another... I had to bring Raider out to pee. And now there's raccoons. Where'd he go? There was one right there. Make sure they're all... Okay, you better? Is that better? I got a little... Oh, there he is. Right there in the spotlight. Is that the possum that was here earlier? Because I thought the raccoon wandered off that way. You gotta be careful, little raider. Keep him on a leash here at night. Because there are a lot of critters out here. All right, come here, raider. This way, good boy. Back in. Yeah, the raccoon was just just in my trash right there. He checked out this one. I heard something out here. And I think I saw it go off that way, but I think I think that's the possum down there. Okay. Get back in. Hop up. Come on. Come on. Get in here. Okay, back inside. I don't know if this is coming out on <laughs> coyotes. <laughs> There's a lot of critters here at Rancho Seco. <laughs> I'm still in bed. Raiders under here somewhere. He's way down here. <laughs> I got my heater right here. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to catch my sleeping bag on fire. <laughs> I just laid here and started it. Oh, feels good. Woo. I want it to heat up in here. I need to move it a little bit now that I got it going. Uh, hopefully it'll warm it up so I can get out of bed. <laughs> Man, come back up. I just opened my tent, looked out, and the otter was just swimming right here on his back. Just floating right by. Where'd you go? He went under. Oh, man, that would have been a perfect shot of him. Where is he? Oh, way out there. There he is. <laughs> Just swimming around. Oop, under he goes. Yeah, there's a few of them in here. Good morning. So it is 
just the next morning and uh it is really cold this morning it was like i don't know 36 degrees out here and i already got my bed put away got my couch open back up for raider i did bring a little carpet this time and it's made it so much nicer because uh you know it's really damp outside um and uh otherwise it would probably be wet and slippery in here so this has made it really nice I just set up my long cot in here and I folded up my couch last night. But I did bring this time a little heater. And I started out with just, I cracked that vent and then this one. And it got so warm in here, I just ended up opening this whole side one. And I'm actually about to, to turn it off. But I'm still, the heat is so nice. <laughs> I was just about to take my jacket back off. Um, it's a little messy in here. But I'm about to get my coffee going. I got my teeth brushed. And, uh, yeah, I didn't sleep real good last night. My feet were cold all night long. So I got to figure something out. Maybe I'll just throw some heat warmers down in there this, tonight. But I had otters playing out there, splashing around. There was actually one just a little while ago. It just floated right past here. I think it's still out there. I don't, they're, they fish like crazy. I mean, these fishermen were up at the crack of dawn out here. I could hear them out there. I would assume that the otters scare all the fish away, but maybe not. And then I had a possum last night come into my camp and then trash pandas. So we have raccoons like crazy in this area. This trash can was like way over there. And then out this side, there's another trash can can probably open this the rest of the way. There's a trash can right there. They were crawling in and out of there and I was trying to get a, a video of them, but the light kept reflecting on the mesh. And then by the time I got it figured out, he took off and uh, they went, you know, way off that way. But I'm gonna, I'll probably get a video of them tonight cause I'm sure they'll be back, but they're so cute. And then I could hear coyotes last night like crazy and a ton of owls, the hooty owls, the hoo hoo hoo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I heard I heard so many of those last night all night long they were so active there's so many animals I like camping here this is a there's a lot more entertainment for me <laughs> to say the least but right now we're still kind of waking up huh Mr. Raider we've been out for a couple of potty breaks and then walked over the cars right there walked over to the car to put the sleeping bags and everything back so he's had a couple of breaks, but as soon as I get my coffee going, we're gonna go for a nice walk around the lake, huh? You ready for go for a walk? You ready for that? You wanna go walkies? Walkies? Do you? You wanna go walkies? He's so funny. Yes, you do. Your little snuggle bug, isn't he cute? He's such a love. You're such a love bug. Okay, Raider. So I'm gonna get some coffee going. Swans just came in for a landing. I've never heard them land. They run across the water as they hit the water. I'm assuming that's a young one because it's still really gray. And then there's another one over there. So maybe mom and dad and one chick. They're huge. I can't believe how big they are when you get close to them. <laughs> but I think they're mean. So hopefully they stay out there and don't come over here to graze. I'm assuming they graze like the Canadian geese do. They come up on the up on the hill and eat grass in our house all the time. So many animals out here. Tons of fishermen this morning. <laughs> not I didn't know there was an issue of raw fish for dogs trout and salmon making I wonder if that's I guess it is native to the Pacific States don't feed the alligators don't let your dog get eaten by an alligator <laughs> I love this lake it's not very big but it's so nice and peaceful. And I cannot believe how many animals are living on this lake. Rec 
raccoons, possums, tons of birds, swans, which is cool. I've seen four of them so far. Geese, ducks, uh, a lot of hummingbirds I noticed. Don't jump in. I don't want you getting eaten by an alligator. Good boy. That's beautiful this morning. <clears throat> this water's so clear. Look how pretty that is. That's about, I'd say it's probably six feet deep. And you can see all the way down. So nice out here. And here's all the Canadian geese. There's a ton of them. Whoa, right here, you're at the end of your leash. <laughs> There's a ton of them out here. Somebody just came over with a baby stroller. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we're out of here. Pretty. Why they call them Canadian honkers. They all just took off out into the water. Let's see if these ones will go. I love the sound when they take off. <laughs> these guys are like, nope, we don't want to get wet yet. They're so big when you get up close to them. Aren't gonna go. As soon as I shut off my camera, they'll take off. Of course, there they go. Still a few more holds out, holdouts. <laughs> they, they don't want to go. They have a beach. In the summertime, they have a lifeguard. And then it's. <clears throat> Kind of buoyed off up there for swimming because in the summertime this lake is really windy and it's full of windsurfers so it's kind of fun to to see them out here it's been a while but it's a really popular place i wonder if these boats are for rent but they are. Oh, chilly out here. The wind is starting to pick up. I think my little otter's back. I could swear I just saw him pop up right here. Come on, Raider. Right there. Let's see. There's so many people fishing today. Holy cow. They are piling in. Be interesting to see what it's like tomorrow on Saturday. Okay, where's my otter? I know he was right there. I think he's over here, I hear. I hear splashing right here. And the water's kind of moving. Is he down in here? Dave might bring me a couple trail cams out tonight so I can set up and watch for my little trash pandas because I know they'll be back tonight. And that possum will probably be making his way through. Well, breakfast was really good. I cooked up some of my, I had, you know, I had two hamburger patties last night. <clears throat> so I had one left. And I heated up, I don't know, probably a quarter of it for him. And now he's cleaning my plate. <laughs> These guys fishing. There's none there right now, but they're just walking right through my camp and fishing right there. Back and forth. Looks like they're they're all back over here now, but it's so rude. You don't walk through people's campsites. 
I came inside to eat. I'm like, ugh. I don't know. If it's like this again tomorrow, I might just come home. Because I don't even want to sit outside. Every time I turn around, one of them's looking over. They're catching some fish, though. Yeah, so... I'm just gonna relax in here and start working on my video. Okay, so I'm in the tent. I got my bed made. I got my dog. So I'm doing my sleeping bags different. I'm gonna sleep inside of my old one, which is the thicker, heavy one, my Coleman, and I might probably stay warmer than my down one, and I'll throw that one over the top if I get cold later. I have the heater on right now, and by the time I was done getting into my PJs, which includes my wool shirt, taking my hat off. It's cooking hot in here. I have that one open and oh, you can see that one's open. And I was thinking about, there's no way to adjust this to turn it down. It's just, it's just on. That's it. Oh, I tell you what, it was nice in the morning, but I'm about to shut it off now. And, uh, I'll leave the vents open just a little bit longer, but it's only been on for probably not even 10 minutes. So, Pandas. Looks like three of them. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> They're adorable. Wish I could video them better, but it's hard to the mesh. They don't seem to care about the flashlight. Hopefully it's catching up. I don't know why it won't focus. Focus, there we go. Hopefully it's catching them on the, the camera over here. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was three of them. 
Oh, there's another one. There's a big one. You know, you guys aren't gonna leave anything for the possum. Hi, baby. Hello. It's okay. That one looks a little more skittish. I think I'll zip my top up. <laughs> Hopefully they... <laughs> They're so noisy. Just kind of laying in bed. Got my heater on. I had it turned off because it got really hot in here. And then I wanted to warm back up. So I have my windows open and my raccoons are back <laughs> I keep hearing noise I think they're out there again but I'm just relaxing watching YouTube charging up my iPad so I can watch a movie and loving my heat. <laughs> Got my cocktail. Yeah, the animals are noisy and active tonight. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm uh, back inside. Got my little heater going. I love this thing. I leave it on for five or ten minutes. And it gets so warm in here. I have to shut it off. I do have a couple of windows open, just cracked. Um, I'm not gonna leave this on for long. It says it's indoor safe. Obviously you still need good ventilation. It's just the little propane Mr. Heater. I don't know if you can see it, Mr. Buddy. This thing is amazing. It's really easy to start and stop. If you knock it over, it shuts off. Um, it's light and portable. <laughs> I love this thing. It is warmer in here right now than it is usually at my house. Because I, I hate turning the heater on at the house. I, it just always feels stuffy to me. But, yeah, my lamp hanging up there so I can see. and It's a mess in here. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, I did move Mr. Raider. You can't see him, but he's under this. Here he is right here under this pile. I made him a, a bed that's as high as my cot because I just didn't have any room last night. He he likes to stretch out and he likes to kick me. And so I made him his own little bed. So I'm just laying here watching YouTube videos. I'll be shutting the heater off in just a minute because it's gotten pretty warm in here. warm this joint up before we get out of bed. <laughs> it's cold in here, huh? I know. It's very cold. Very cold. Good boy. Good morning. Got my Hot water heating for my coffee. It's pretty chilly out. Um, got my heater on over here though. <laughs> uh, I turned that on before we even got up. I had it sitting down under here. Yeah, look who's still in bed. How are you? How are you? What are you doing? Are you gonna get up? Don't be cleaning house in my bed, you. Yeah, I know what you're looking under there. <laughs> so, just waiting for my water to boil. It should be. Almost. And it's almost boiling. So I slept way better last night because I made him a bed over on the side and rolled him up in my big heavy jacket. And he was perfect. And I had my whole sleeping bag zipped up. My old one, I zipped it up. And it's much warmer than my backpacking one. You know, but it's heavy. It's not for backpacking. So I was toasty warm last night. Okay, I think my... That's probably enough. Shut that off. And 
a little pour over coffee. And why is my coffee pot dripping? My water should not be dripping out of there. That's not good. A little bit more. Oops. Ooh. And we just wait for that to filter. Okay, coffee's all ready. We need a little moo juice in here. <laughs> a little bit of cow. <laughs> That's enough. That's a little too much. Perfect. Oh, yeah. My favorite part of the morning. My coffee. Got my fire. Oh, hard to focus through the mesh. Um, got my fire going. It's just kind of getting started. Listening to the boys out there fishing already across the lake. Oh, they were out here before the sun even came up. I woke up, I could hear them out there talking. They start early. The guys that were fishing yesterday caught a lot of trout. I thought it was just catch and release at this lake, but apparently not, because they were all taking them. They had strings of... Some, one guy had four, it looked like. Another guy had two or three. Nice fat ones. And even though they were standing in front of my tent all day, right in my campsite, nobody offered to give me a fish. Hmm, how sad. <sighs> I believe there's a bald eagle there and another one over here. I just saw them fly, fly in. Oh, I hope they come closer. Yeah, I thought I saw a young one at Comanche. It wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't have the white head and tail yet, but it, it had the shape and the straight wings. But it was still darker, like it was younger still. But this one out here, I just, it's so far away. I'm zoomed all the way in. If it flies this way, I, I mean, I could clearly see two birds with white head and white tail. I saw the one landed there. I think the other one landed over in here. But that one is right on the top there. You can see it. I'll try and zoom in on the video after and get a little bit closer. Come on, dude, fly this way. Yeah, I can see a dark bird with a white head. That's a bald eagle. I know Katie and I were hiking out here one time last year, year before. Just went on a day hike and we saw eagles. Come on, dude, fly. I know, I'm gonna go back in my tent. Oh, see, he's looking, yeah, that's a baldy. <clears throat> I see him right at the top on the left side of the tree. I don't know why I get so excited when I see him, but I mean, for most of my life, we didn't have eagles in this area. You know, they pretty much wiped them out with the chemicals back in the, I think like in the 60s and 70s, whenever it was, and when they outlawed that, what was it, DDT or whatever. Apparently, it was causing their shells to be very fragile, and so every time they would lay their eggs, the shells would get crushed super easy, so they weren't hatching any babies. And then their numbers dropped and dropped, and they were on the endangered list. And then once they banned that chemical from being sprayed, I think it was a pesticide, if I remember. Um they were able to start raising their chicks again and their numbers are now, I think they're considered a nuisance species in some areas. Come on, dude, fly. I wonder if these ones are 
Can't, it's hard to keep it still when you're zoomed all the way in. I wonder if they're fish eaters um, on this lake here. This lake is full of trout. There's also a lot of little critters on the ground, gophers, and I had a cottontail run through my camp last night. I'm gonna be checking my trail cams. I set a couple of them up. I had raccoons like crazy. <laughs> So like about four times they came through and just were making so much racket. And I did get some video of them on my phone, but I want to see if my trail cams picked them up. Whoops. Okay, he seems like he's going to be settled there for a minute. There's no doubt that's a bald eagle. My little raccoons are back. Look at them. What are you guys doing? I don't want to scare them, but I want to. I want to get a shot of them. There they go. <laughs> what are they doing out during the day? <clears throat> Where'd they go? I think they're down in the. You gotta be careful because they can be really aggressive. I don't see any more that way. I think they went down into the into the reeds here. There's a little animal trail. I don't think I've ever seen them out during the day like that. I wonder what if something scared them out of their nest. It was two small ones that I saw. It was so funny, they were peeking up over the edge. Just peeking and then ducking down. And they took off this way. I don't know where they went. They might have gone all the way around. <laughs> that was funny. A little woodpecker. Pecking on my tree here. They're so cute. <laughs> I can't believe how many animals at this place. How many different fun little critters I get to see. Look at them pecking away. I'm looking for bugs. <laughs> I'm zoomed in pretty pretty much that's why it's hard to hold it steady yeah I love it here so far there's nobody fishing in front of me right now today it's almost 10 o'clock so hopefully it'll be a little quieter for me today than it was yesterday there are some guys right out here in a bass boat but that I don't mind it they're out on the water they're not walking around at my campsite so cute I like how they just hop around the edge of the, the tree. <laughs> I hear another one off to my left. What are you doing?
Yes. Babies, hey babies. No raider, no, no. Stay. Gosh, they're so cute. What are they doing out in the day like this? So that's the thing. Oop. No raider. So I. <laughs> I didn't film it because I didn't think about it, but I cooked up some bacon and now I'm boiling some water so I can have my oatmeal for breakfast. And uh, I was going to make pancakes, but I think I'll do that for dinner. I think I'll have like an early dinner, maybe around four. So I still have light out here and I'll, uh, I'm will i going to cook, try and cook some pancakes. <laughs> that should be interesting. Um, I've never done that on a cast iron skittle, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And a couple eggs, maybe. That'll be good for dinner. <coughs> There's nobody fishing on my shoreline today. It's so nice. I can actually be outside. I did have two of my little raccoons from last night went running through my camp. I shouldn't even say running. They just strolled right along the edge they were just kind of going like right down under there and then i could see them they pop up and they were young they looked really young but so cute i don't know what they're doing out during the day but they didn't come up into the camp but i got a ton of video on my trail cams last night i got lots and lots of raccoon action i mean they were they must have spent most of their night here <laughs> i had a few possums might have been the same one but a few different videos and i had one Cottontail bunny ran through. What are you doing, Raider? Stop scratching. No, quit itching. Good boy. I'm trying to keep him over there because he wants to come over and check out my skillet here, but it's really hot still. I just pulled it off the grill. So, but he's being a good boy sitting there in the sun, itching like he does. Why are you so itchy? He doesn't have any fleas. He doesn't have dry skin. He's just, I don't know. I think it's just a nervous thing he does. Ooh. What is that? I did see, oh, they're back. They're back, look at that. I got bald eagles at the top of that tree. And I can see, I'll point that tree right there at the very top. There was two of them up there earlier. Can you see that bald eagle? I was hoping they'd fly this way when they flew off, but they didn't. They flew off toward the towers over there. But they're back. I want them to come this way so I can get a better video. I get very excited every time I see a bald eagle. So we'll keep an eye on it again. And hurry up and get my oatmeal. It looks like the water's just about to boil. So we'll check back in. There he goes. I was hoping he'd come back this way. Mm -hmm. back in there. I want him to come this way. He's coming towards me. It looks like it's about eight inches long, maybe ten. God, I wish it would show up on video. I don't think it does. Just swimming around right here. There was three more with him. I think he's gonna stick his nose up out of the water. Getting closer. It's a trout.
going into that light patch of sun. See him right there? There he is. I think he's too small to keep if somebody catches him. <laughs> So I'm around the back side <clears throat> of the of the park and um, I don't see anybody fishing back here. I see my swans way over there. Whoa, hold on Raider. I think I think those are the oh no over here. I think yeah there's my swans. I thought these little white ones are out here. Ducks. That's too far for me to really tell. It's really pretty back here, but there's nobody back here. I wonder if I could set up out here. My car would be a little farther. If there's nobody over here, this would be a nice place. And the camp store is right there. So I could walk over there if I needed something. I should go over and ask her about that. Set up my tent. Hmm, I need to... I need to ask him about this section because look how pretty. Oh, you can see, see the mountains, see the snow on the mountains. I think those are the Sierras. I'm looking off to the south, I believe. That's beautiful. Oh, it's so quiet over here. I don't hear any voices, nobody talking, no one fishing. I bet there's a lot of critters out in here at night, too. This would be a fun place to set up my trail cams. Hmm. I'll have to investigate. <laughs> Where you off to? You're going to run out of leash. Oh, you're out of leash. <laughs> I think the otter's right here. <clears throat> Something big just splashed out of the water right there. be one of those mud ducks but I think that's the otter. Whew. Just went for a nice long walk with Raider and now look at all the swans are here and the Canadian geese. I don't really see any ducks other than those little mud ducks, those little, oops, little coots. geese flapping their wings over here. Look how pretty these swans are. <laughs> you look at them compared to Canadian geese and if you've ever stood next to one of these Canadian honkers you realize how big they are and then like triple the size for one of those swans. I wish there was a mallard in there for comparison. We have a ton of geese in our pond every year. They nest in my neighbor Pat's pond, and then as soon as the babies hatch, they bring them over to our pond. And then every morning when we're feeding grain to the horses, we th throw uh, chicken food out there, and they come up and eat it. <laughs> they come right up really close. The male hisses at us, but he's never tried to come after us, but the babies will come up and they get to where they're they're up there for breakfast every single morning. <laughs> he found a nice sunny spot. <laughs> Good boy, Raider. Good boy. otters are playing. God, there's like four of them. All these separate splashes. I'm trying to get them on video. The sun's so bright right here. 
one of them was over here and then there was like three big splashes all simultaneously and one was right there So the raccoons came back a little earlier than I expected, and Raider chased them up a tree. Hi, babies. You see them peeking their little eyes there? <laughs> Let me zoom in. Where are they? Here they come. <laughs> you guys are okay. You came out early. Those are probably the two that were, you know, that came out earlier today. They're small. <laughs> Hopefully they're not aggressive, but uh, Raider, I heard him barking. I look over there. I can't see. It looks like it's bright out here, but it is dark. And all I can see is their little shiny eyes. Focus. I don't know why it won't focus. Come on. <laughs> Shit. I better... Uh... Better get my my stuff organized and get inside before they start to <laughs> come after me. <laughs> Got a movie on. Watching the Meg. Got my heater. Make sure I keep my blankets tucked back. Oh, feels so good. Yeah, nothing directly above it. Yeah. Got my vents open a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it on long enough to warm it up. It was really cold in here. What did this temperature say? This one said 55. <coughs> but my watch says 50. I don't know why it won't show up on here, but so my watch says 50, but the thermometer in here says 55, but it felt more like 50. How is this and Raiders under the blanket. This ecosystem right is there. <laughs> from the rest of the ocean. I've been out here for five minutes thinking I was videoing, never turned on camera. This is my cute little possum. There were raccoons right here too, but they just took off. Came out to check my camera because they knocked it over. Or I want to make sure they didn't knock it over. Look how cute that little possum is. He's not even caring that I got a light on him. I'm not sure what he's eating. Little possum. They're adorable. Cute. That's just a tiny possum. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Uh, today is my last morning. I'm going to go ahead and head home later this afternoon because there is supposed to be a pretty nasty storm tonight. And I really don't want to pack stuff up wet tomorrow. And I don't want to deal with the wind. It's supposed to be very windy. But I'm sitting here. It's got my heater on. I have a little peak hole up there. I'm watching the birds. My woodpeckers are back. And uh, just having some coffee with Mr. Raider. He is Mr. Raider. Good boy. <laughs> You're a good boy, aren't you? Yeah, this is our last day, baby. Our last day. I was watching some YouTube and uh, I gotta start cleaning up my mess. The raccoons came in so early last night, so I just had to just bring everything in. Just piled it up. I didn't bother cleaning anything. Um, wanted to get all the trash cleaned up and had to get my cameras out. Raider chased the raccoons up the tree twice, didn't ya? You're so funny. Yeah, luckily they were young and they ran from him and didn't come after him because I did not expect him. I mean, it just had gotten dark. It was so early. It was like 
a little after five. Don't bark at the fishermen. They're allowed to fish. It's okay. It's okay. No, you're so big and vicious, aren't you? Ooh, just heard a big splash. So, yeah, I'm going to relax for a while. And I, I'm thinking about reheating <clears throat> on my frying pan, reheating a couple pancakes for breakfast. I wonder how that would be. I've never tried refrying a pancake. I've always just microwaved them. But I don't have a microwave. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit here, <clears throat> drink my coffee. It's, um, what time is it? Wow, it's 8.30 already. I don't know <laughs> where that last hour went. I didn't get up till 7, and I only got up because... <coughs> Excuse me. I only got up because um, I could hear so many voices outside. It woke me up really early. And so I got up, turned on the heater, and took Raider out for a minute. Of course, he wouldn't even pee, so he must be holding on to it. And uh, <laughs> Dave just sent me a text, on your way home yet? <laughs> With a smiley face. No, I'm going to relax and enjoy my last day. I'm actually paid through tomorrow, so I do want to stay today and hang out. It looks like it's really cloudy today, which I expected, but it's not windy and it's not raining yet. But it's going to be noisy. There's a lot of kids in the campground across the way over there in the RV parking and oh they're loud they were out last night running around and these guys were out here fishing yesterday I wonder if they caught anything I see my swans over there normally I would have this all closed up in the morning but you know ventilation for that got my fire started again this morning with nothing but just stirring the coals around dumping the fresh ones I'm going to reheat some pancakes since I didn't really get to sit and enjoy my pancakes last night because of my raccoons. And then I'm, uh, <clears throat> I've already started packing stuff up. Um, I got a lot of stuff out of here already. And uh, as soon as I'm done eating breakfast, I'm going to take down the rest of the stuff and head home. As much as I want to stay and relax another day. <laughs> Raider, you ready to go for a walk, huh? Not yet. Not yet, little man. He's so cute. Mr. Raider. <laughs> Bink. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Raider, Raider. Raider, Raider, Raider. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Was that it? That's all you got? <laughs> well, I decided to uh, go ahead and head out today. There is a what looks like on Doppler to be a really nasty storm. So I was expecting, you know, some rain, a little wind. I was going to brave it, get out of my comfort zone. But uh, <clears throat> when I started checking the Doppler last night and the wind speeds and how much rain, it's going to be really nasty tomorrow. And I just decided, you know what? I don't think I want to pack up in the rain. <coughs> I don't think I want to have all my stuff wet and muddy and then when I get home I have to open everything out wait for a dry day take it set it all up dry it out good and now um, I don't have to do that but um, I did have a really good time and uh, <coughs> pardon me um, <clears throat> Now I don't have to do all that. My tent is already cleaned up. I, I was able to take my time, fold up my tent really neatly. Although I did leave my hanging lamp inside there. Um, I got distracted because a couple guys came over and started fishing right next to me. And one of them caught a fish. And uh, rainbow trout is what they're fishing for. But I wanted to see his fish and ask him a couple questions or whatever. So, and so I got distracted. Came back, finished putting my tent together. And then remembered that was still inside but that's all right it'll be there next time I just will not be able to charge it back up when I get home my fire was set up right next to their big fire pit so I'm able just to dump my hot coals in there and then my little fire pit my little snow peak Topeki Tekipi 
uh, whatever it's called, snow peak thing, it cools off really, really fast, which is nice. As soon as you dump your coals out in 10 minutes, it's nice and cold. So I was able to get that put away. And But I had a, I had a good time out there. It was nice. It was relaxing. Um, I know I got a lot of chores to do. We got, I know the hot wire was down. Dave said yesterday we got to get that. He went out and I don't know if he was able to fix it or not, but I'll have to check on that and start getting everything battened down today for the storm tomorrow. I'll make sure all the animals are moved around. Everybody's going to be dry tonight because it's not just going to be raining. It's going to be really windy. Raiders whooped. <laughs> I think he's ready to go home. <clears throat> Anybody's still here listening to me babble. I'm impressed. <laughs> it is getting cloudy. I tell you what, when I wake up tomorrow and it's dumping rain and it's windy, I'm going to be so glad that I came home early. As much as I want to camp in the storm, I need a tent. I want a tent that is designed for it, though, that I know is going to be staked out. It's not going to blow over. I'm going to stay dry. It's going to be tested. So I'm going to have to... I kind of want one of those teepee ones that, that you set up. Um, those are kind of cool. And then with the hot tent, I want to do that and get the little wood stove. So I was talking to Dave about that. And I, I told him, I'm like, we get that. I can practice setting it up at home. I could just, you know, take it out in the arena, set it up, get it going, practice it with it a few times. And, um, you know, then take it out camping because I think that would be fun. I've seen a lot of people in their YouTube videos that have camping channels. This isn't a camping channel. I will go back to plants because that's my, that's my thing. My cactus and succulents, I will be getting back into that. But just nothing to film right now with plants. I do need to do a little maintenance around my front, which... I think the weather's supposed to be nice later this week and that's probably when I'll do that. But now I have three camping videos and as of right now, I still haven't posted the other two, but I did get them edited while I was out camping. And so I'll, I'll get those posted. So, all right, I'm just about to turn onto my road here. I'm about a minute and a half from home. So I will sign off. If you're still watching, Thank you. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Tell me if you if any of you watched this all the way through. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's free. It makes me happy. It makes my dog happy. My dog. My dog. He slept all the way home. He's a good boy. So, all right. <clears throat> Until next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get back and do some more cactus and succulent videos check out my garden. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll see you next time.